I know for a fact me and my friends would be out later. I think the bars would make a lot more money. I think if I was 19 or 20, 21, 22, it may be not a bad thing, but uh, I've seen a lot of things in my life. The resounding response I got, the later closing time may benefit bigger cities, but places like Traverse City might not make the cut. I don't know if we have the demographics to sort of support that, um, that extra two hours. Senate Bill 247 would allow businesses to purchase an extended hours permit for $10,000, and some business owners say it wouldn't hurt to have the option here in Michigan. For the bar owner, it's a business decision. How much money do you think you can make between 2 and 4 a.m., and does that justify the cost of the additional permit? Cook says there have been busy nights where the late last call would have been welcome. I've had to send 150 or more patrons out of my establishment at 2 a.m. The other idea being kicked around by legislators is regulating how much beer is actually being poured into a glass. If you're a bar owner and you're pouring beers and, and you say you're pouring them a pint, then you should pour them a pint. Some people I spoke with said making sure a pint actually measures 16 ounces is a good idea. They should follow it, but if it was a law, I mean, that'd be good beer enforced. But who exactly would be enforcing the law? The problem is not legislating, the problem is enforcement. So if you put a law into that, are you really going to have people that come out and measure the amount that you put into a pint? In Traverse City, Jamie Innes, 7 and 4 News Today.